Hello, my name is Pablo and welcome back to my channel. This is actually like my third time trying to record this intro because I recorded it, I went on with the vlog and then I came home and I was like, you know what, I need to shave and shower because I look absolutely horrendous. So yeah, today's gonna be a vlog. Today we're gonna be going to the market, to a cat cafe. Yesterday I went to a crypt, the biggest crypt in all of France. And the crazy thing is, it's like literally over there. It's right across the road. And I got a private tour because one of my friends is living with a like PhD guy who has blah, blah, blah. Okay, hello. I just came back. Hello, hello, hello. I have just come back from the crypt because the person that I went to France with, his host, like his landlord, the person that he's living with, um, he has a PhD in history, was a tour guide for 20 years. He was like, hey, I'll get you in for free. And he gives an, a huge tour of the crypt. I didn't even know what a crypt was. It is like the bottom of a chapel. I also found out the difference between a church and a chapel. Chapel has a bishop and a church does not, which uh, absolutely blew my mind. And the history was so incredible. It spanned from the 11th century, then to the 13th, and then to the 19th, there was changes and developments made. And it is the biggest crypt in all of France which is like absolutely mind-blowing and I feel so lucky that I got to um, understand so much history even though I didn't I, I, I listened to it uh, but um, it's a bit loud I didn't entirely uh, remember everything that he said but the absolutely the, the frescoes and the history and everything it was just like almost overwhelming because there was so much but I felt so lucky that I had a real French tour guide telling me all about these frescoes and the history and seeing tiny little things like there was an elephant tusk that was um, transformed into a statue of Mary and like all this jewelry and I don't know I had such a great time and right now I'm going home to have some dinner and I also went to the beach which I'll include a few little clips of um, here. Also, I forgot to mention that this crypt started off as one tiny room and spiraled into like the biggest one in France because of like various historical factors, but I just thought that was like super interesting and I think I should definitely include that. <laughs> I've already went to the market, but I'm gonna put all those clips in and next we're going to the cat cafe and I cannot wait. And the important thing that I feel like I should mention is that I'm in the north of France. I'm in boulogne sur mer I didn't even know how, I didn't even know if I, I don't even know if I pronounced that correctly, but basically I'm here for six weeks. It doesn't feel real. Today is the weekend in France and I'm here and I wanted to bring you with me. So we're gonna be going to the cat cafe, the market. I'm gonna show you clips from the crypt and hopefully we're gonna to go to a beach. Sorry, no, yes, sir, we did go to the beach. I took videos as well and hopefully we're gonna to go to another beach today. Um, yes, so let's get on with the vlog. <laughs> Oh, I also forgot to mention, I've been looking for a pair of slippers and my goal is to go to the market and find a pair of slippers. And, you know, I'm already back for the market, but I'll let you figure out if I got those or not. It's such a weird thing, but there you go. <laughs> One of the really pretty things about this city is that it is on like a hill. So whenever you're going to the market, you have to go down the hill and it's like in the center and it looks really cool. But one thing that is not fun about uh, the hill is going back up it because it feels like a workout every single time because I live on the very, very, very top of the hill and all the shops and the important things, all the important things are at the very bottom of the hill and I have to walk up and down it. But yeah, it's fun. <laughs> Okay, so market is finished. I've had absolutely no luck in getting slippers, but it's okay. There was only food there because the market happens twice a week and on Wednesday, whew, I'm going up this hill and I'm getting out of breath. So on Wednesday, they do close sometimes and um, I'll get it this time. I mean, I'll get it next time. Um, it's really nice to see a lot of people like coming together and like buying things outdoors and people getting so excited and the stalls having uh, so many different things. It's so nice. I absolutely love it. And it's so much nicer than just going to the shop and like coming home. There's such like a social um, aspect of it and I fucking love it. But I'm gonna go home, unpack and go to the cat cafe. Okay, hello, hello, hello. Tiny change of plans. I came home and I shaved and I washed my hair because I realized I looked like absolute shit in the earlier videos and I was like, you know what, time to just, we're, we're just gonna change it up and I feel so much better now because I'm shaved, blah, 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 all that sort of stuff. So the cat cafe is gonna happen in like an hour once my hair dries and everything along those lines. But the market was so fun, no slippers. Again, I will find those slippers. But the one thing that has kind of like humbled me, I suppose when I came to France was that I've been learning French for two years, as I've mentioned before, but I've realized that people here speak so fucking fast and whenever I try to use my French, they're all like, 
or they just are, get annoyed and they're like, nope, I'm not listening to this and then just speak English to me. So I think that I thought I was a lot better than I actually am and now I'm kind of like, I, I can read signs, I can read things, I can kind of pick up on what people are saying, but when it comes to me speaking, it's so fucking bad. It's like, it, it, it's embarrassing. So, um, market is done. I've showed you the clips from yesterday and we're gonna go to the cat cafe and I cannot wait because I just absolutely love cats and yeah. And I'm gonna re-film uh, the start of this vlog because I felt like I was like so groggy and all this. But yeah, I will hopefully see you in the cat cafe in like an hour time. <laughs> Okay, so this place makes me want to get a cat so badly because I'm having... It's just so cute. They're just chilling. Cats do not give a single fuck and I absolutely love that. So I think we're going to some beach town next. I'm not really too sure, but I'm um, loving the cats. The cats are the absolute best. And I'm sorry for the quality here. It is awful because I'm recording on my phone, but this is the best. Cats are the best and I will definitely get a cat once I'm back from France. <laughs> I had such a hectic like two hours. Basically, for a little bit of context, I'm with two people in France, like the two students that I'm with. And one of the students, she was like, hey, my host wants to bring us around like the North Coast, like to the, like everywhere. So we started off at the Cat Cafe, as you saw, and it was like the absolute best time. And then the host picked us up and we went to the very, very North. And we could see, it was like a point that is the closest to England and we could see Dover, which was like so fucking cool. And then we just went around and visited a lot of towns. I took a video of the map, but um, that took like three hours or two or something along those lines. And it was absolutely incredible. And I don't know, it's, it's so nice whenever you just meet people and not like tour guides and the tours that you get and the information that you get around the places feels so natural. And it's so nice to just meet people in a foreign country and then be so generous to you and you have like absolutely nothing to offer them so yeah <laughs> and like that the vlog ends where it started i had an absolute hectic day i think i was outside traveling around for like 12 hours if not more and you know what i feel absolutely um just lucky to be here I think I'm burnt, my face is getting a little bit red, but I have a map of all the places that we visited. We went to like um, Cap Grenet, which is like uh, the gray nose. It's a very, like, uh, it's a very corner. You can see England and it was just absolutely beautiful. Like it's, it, it feels absolutely surreal that I have been visiting all of these places and all these places have been absolutely, absolutely beautiful. And I feel so lucky. And I don't know, there was one building that we saw, so it was like a corner of a street and the buildings from the left to the right spanned from the 16th and then the next one was the 17th century and the next one was the 18th and so on. And it was so cool, like the tiny little bits of history that you would never know if um, nobody ever showed you. And I just really, really appreciate things like that. And even seeing the coast of France and the beaches and just the history, like seeing uh, bunkers and like a uh, literal markings of where the war happened and where there was bombs dropped and everything, it was just, it's overwhelming, but it's absolutely beautiful. And I feel so lucky to be here. And I, I feel like I have a lot to say. Another thing I remember uh, taking note of today is that I need a vlogging camera because taking out this massive camera throughout the day is absolutely impossible. Um, 
But overall, I'm... I don't even know. I did not expect this vlog to go this way. I thought it would just end at the cat cafe. But then we went to the like, absolute coast of uh, France and drove around for like three or four hours and saw the most beautiful things ever. And I'm going to put in loads and loads and loads of clips here. And I just love that. I love that. Like half of me absolutely adores routine and the other half just feels so happy that I just got to randomly go to these places and learn French by speaking French to this lady. And um, you know what? It was just a great day. I had an absolute fun time. I think my face is genuinely getting super, 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 super. I can't even speak right now, but I'm just gonna end the vlog here because I feel like I could talk for hours. And if anybody has made it this far, that is absolutely impressive. So thank you so much for watching and I will definitely see you in the next vlog. So goodbye. <laughs> Oh, one more thing. I forgot to mention something super, super, super important. It's not even focusing on my face, but it doesn't matter. Um, the, the lady that brought us around, we went to her house and she had a husky. It was called Laika and it was the cutest fucking dog ever. And I just have to put some clips in because I love dogs. And it was like, every time you didn't pet it, it would just kind of like to go like, ooh, 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 like basically keep on petting me. And I absolutely love that. I just wanted to throw that in there, but this is the actual ending. And I probably will think of more things to say, but you know what? This vlog is going to be so long. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs> oh man.